Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome to me see SDK's channel. If you're oldies, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another episode. So on this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make meat pie filling correctly. I've come across many videos online and I don't know what to say but let me show you my method so let's dive into this video so I'll be needing a uh, potato my beef uh, um, my seasoning carrots uh, oil for frying and onion so I'll leave the this on the this in the description box below this video. I'm gonna leave all the measurement and the ingredients used and the seasoning I used. Just me trying to go extra with the seasoning. So if you don't want to use as much or you're allergic to any seasoning, so just skip it. The optional with your salt and stock you're okay to go so this is how I chopped the potato the carrot and the onion so any ways you want to chop it is okay but this is the right way to do it first you want to boil put the potato to boil so this is the secret right here you don't need to add additional purpose flour or cornstarch so here is gas coming out from the potato boiling it is tearing up the starch from the potato so i'll boil this for some minutes and sieve out the water out of the potato you can see how soft it is but not too soft this is how you boil it so not too soft not too hard so second i'll just put my frying pan on the stove so it heats the oil for some seconds and add my onion and fry <music> After frying the onion and it's a bit fried so I had my carrots, had the carrots. So you have to fry the carrots as well. So if you want to boil the carrots with the potato, it's fine. If you want to do it this method, it's also okay. So it's fine if you boil it, it's fine if you fry it. So I'll go ahead and add all the seasoning I used. Don't forget, I'm gonna leave the on in the description box. I'm gonna leave all the seasoning I use for this meat pie filling. So you can skip any one and just use salt and stock is okay. So after frying that, I'll go ahead and add the beef. <laughs> this for another two to three minutes till it's brown when it's like this it's not yet okay notice if the beef has its own juice already this beef has its own water 
it brings out liquid so with the liquid out from the beef it's all while you're frying it it's gonna help it cook very well so no need to add additional water or um, anything else to cook it after frying and it's this brown then it's okay the next thing is to add the potato we I boiled earlier. Add everything and stir it up. At this moment, I turn my heat very low, the heat of my stove very low, so it will help me bring out the starch while I stir in, in the frying pan. It will help me bring out the starch from the potato in the uh, to make everything thick so here is the trick stop adding cornstarch stop adding um, baking flour or, or purpose flour because they also help create much gas inside the meat pie filling i used to use that method before but i found that it creates more gas inside the meat pie filling so i stopped using that method and I found out about this method which I did my I created myself so if you find this method helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up here it is it's thick already and you can use it for your meat pie filling so this is it this is the trick stop using cornstarch or flour inside your meat pie filling so if you find this video helpful and you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and share, comment if you, if you like it, comment, tell me your own opinion, how you like your meat pie filling. So I'll see you in my next video and thank you, thank you very much for watching. Bye.